Have you ever ended up with an empty spool mid-print? It's kind of a pain. You've got a bunch of plastic already committed to the print. You've used a lot of time. And so here's a couple of steps that will help recover from that. Okay. So first, we want to get out our measuring tool. And you want to get the most precise tool you have, preferably something with digital measurements because you're going to get down into small fractions of millimeters here. And since your layer height is probably about 0.4 millimeters, you're going to want to be exact as you can. And for this one, I used a digital caliper with a depth gauge and used that depth gauge and came out to 48.4. It says 48.28 on the deal, but that was because I was mad to move it while I was taking the picture. Okay. And then once you've got that measurement, you'll open up your slicer. I happen to use Cura. And so you'll go in and take your original STL file and you'll just grab that file, move it down to the amount that you just measured, so negative 48.4 millimeters, and that'll move the item below the surface, the printing surface, and so it won't print anything below the, the print surface. It'll only print what's remaining. And then once you've got that, then you'll have to take that over to the printer. So we'll save that file. And I like to save the file with a, a name that's got the amount of time it's going to take to print. And that way if I've got two things that have the same name, I know that the one that will print the remainder is the smaller time. Okay, so we'll check that, take that over to the printer, print it out, and make sure your printer's nice and level and everything. And then once you're done with that, then you'll want to take the original, and you may need to sand or file off a little a little bit to get it smooth because you want to, the top and bottoms to match up. You'll apply your glue, you, I used to use super glue, to the bottom part, the original, because those little infills are smaller, so that's where you want the glue to stick. And then your new spot will have a nice flat bottom, so it'll stick well. Align everything up, let the glue dry, and then once the glue is dry, you'll want to fill the gaps. I just use drywall spackle, just what you would use to fill a hole in your wall if you're going to paint it. It dries quick, it changes colors usually so that you can tell when it's dry, and it sands really easy so you can get it nice and smooth. Then once you've got it sanded, you're probably going to need to paint because you don't want to have that spackle look on there. Plus, filaments usually don't match, even batch to batch, you get a little bit of variation, so you're probably going to need to paint the whole thing anyway. And so, Go ahead and paint it, let that dry, and then you're done. You've saved all the plastic and time from the original print, and all it cost you was a quick measurement, a little bit of time on the slicer, and then the, the time to print the remainder. If you liked this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks!